What's up, you beautiful buns eyes? Dallas here. It is vlog every day in August day four. And today's topic is talk about something that you miss. I am going to be real with you guys. Um, it's technically day five because day four I was busy and then I went to a show last night and I got back home almost at midnight and I was sore AF so I went to sleep almost immediately <laughs> after I ate something. Um, but I went to a show last night on actual day four and it was it wasn't a music concert it was a show and it was really fun to see the talent though their core demographic is 15 years old and so there was a lot of screaming for two and a half hours and whew, there is something about young lungs screaming screeching for two and a half hours that just makes you want to go a little insane um so i actually ended up stepping out of the theater when i could tell they were wrapping up the show so that way i could watch the rest of it from the lobby because at that space it was the sound was a lot more tolerable um but before the show started they were playing songs and most of the teen girls were singing along to the songs and even during one song they put up their they put up their phones and did the, and did the flashlight you know lighter in the wind thing and it was really sweet and cool to see um but i didn't know any of the songs because i'm listening to the radio and i don't know anything about new music only thing new music i know is anything from childish gambino or janelle monet that's kind of the extent of my like new music uh information retainment um so i was in that moment and it was very nice but i felt a little isolated you know because I have this thing every now and again where I kind of crave just being a part of a group, like truly a part of a group. Um, but I never quite can get there because of my uniqueness. And I'm not trying to say that like I'm like the second coming or something. And like, but I mean, I'm a Leo and my astrology sign is a Leo and our, you know, our, our, symbols are the lion and we're of the sun and our element is fire and all of those things are really cool but um they also have this like um they also have this u uniqueness of being leaders of the pack and having natural leadership abilities and all that's cool and everything but because of that a leader can be a part of a group but not exactly like the group because of the role that they play and I wasn't a leader last night at this show or anything but I was just just enough outside of it because I'm not 15 and <laughs> uh but also that's just an example though there's lots of other examples that I can give but th this reminded me partic particularly of this topic from day four which is why I wanted to talk about it like I think about the sun the sun is super important um, in our solar system. It's literally what the planets gravitate around, revolve around. And it heats and lights up our solar system, us, our planet. I am not as important as the sun, nowhere near. But I think, you know, maybe the sun gets lonely every once in a while. It loves its position in the world, in the universe, literally. Um, but maybe it gets lonely because it can never have, like, friends close to it because it will literally consume it with fire. And I think about chameleons, right? Chameleons can adapt to any situation that they want to because they can just change the color and literally look like the thing they're changing into. And social Leos, extrovert Leos, have a tendency to be able to adapt to social, social situations of any kind. And that's kind of what I can do. And I definitely am grateful for that because it's helped me in a lot of ways and help me meet all kinds of different people, which I'm internally grateful for. But the thing about a chameleon is, if it, if it turn, changes its color, changes its color to look like a tree log, it's gonna fucking look like a tree log. But the thing is, it's not really a tree log. It's a chameleon. And I don't even know what I'm saying here. I guess it's kind of the thing like the grass is always greener on, on the other side, or it seems to be greener even though it's not. And I'm not saying that like I don't like my qualities, I don't like being unique, I don't like standing out in the crowd, like I, that's me, it's literally a part of who I am. 
I, I mean, I wear bright colors. I'm a tall, big girl. I wear a headscarf. Like, I, obviously, the uniqueness has been embraced. Um, and it's there. And I enjoy it. But just every once in a while, you know, sometimes we just want to be a geese in the flock. And not the geese leading the flock. Or whatever. I don't know. Is this even answering the question? I'm just babbling. This is a horrible one take. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Anywho, that's all for me. And I will see you lovely doves later on for day five. Bye.